Uh, so this question is all about the triplet that can represent a country. So uh, you're given three table, school A, school B, school C. So um, what you need to do is each student is enrolled in exactly one school and you want to uh, follow the constraint. So member A select from school A, member B select from school B, member C select from school C and the student name and ID appear distinct. So uh, find all the possible triplets, right? So let's just look at this. So what does uh, like what does pure wise distinct mean? So so from A, B and C, this is school. So so pure wise, so actually we're actually oh wait, this color is not good. So actually we are doing what? X, Y, Z, triplet, right? So X cannot be equal to Y, X, uh, X cannot be equal to Z, and also Y cannot be equal to Z. This is going to be representing what? Name only, right? But we also have to care about ID. So again, we will have an ID for example input, and we want to make sure they are not the same. All right. Let's look at the, look at the example. So in school A, school B, school C, we have follow table. So I'm gonna just rewrite A B C. I'm gonna call her Alexis, Tom, and then oh sorry Bob, Bob, and then this will be Tom for school B, and then school C is gonna be Tom. Jerry and Alexis. All right, so the first, so if we just pick the first, you know, first uh, option for each school, it's going to be Alexis, Tom, Tom. So again, we need to make sure it's going to be distinct. So X, Y, Z. So now Y and Z are the same, right? So we don't, we don't want this. So next one, uh, Alexis, Tom, Jerry. This is doable, right? It's valid, right? It's valid. All right, next one. Alexis, Tom, Alexis. So Alexis, X, and Z are repeated. So no. All right, so here's Bob, Tom, Tom. Bob, Tom, Tom is going to be no, right? Because Tom and Tom repeated. And then Bob, Tom, Jerry. Bob, Tom, Jerry. It looks okay, right? But let's look at what student ID. Bob. Tom and Jerry. So what do you see? The two are repeated, right? So no. So what else? Bob, Tom, Alexis. Uh, the name are different, right? Let's talk about the, uh, the ID. So two, three, Alexis, 10. So it's doable. So you return, you know, this table. All right, so, um, so what we just go through is cross join. Actually, it's pretty, you know, so again, we need three tables. So it's going to be school A, A cross join, school B cross join, school C. All right. So uh, again, we just make sure we want the correct value. So student A. Oh, sorry. So member A. So member A for student and you know we need to select right. So I'm gonna copy paste B C and this will represent B C right. All right. So what is the constraint? Constraint is gonna be uh, A student cannot be the B student name or ID right. So A student name cannot be equal to B student. Oh, sorry. Name and all right, copy paste, copy paste. You know, B student cannot be sorry, A student cannot be equal to C student name. All right, so this will be the student name, but we we'll also want to make sure the ID, right? So A student ID cannot be equal to B student ID, and then A student ID cannot be equal to C student ID. And two more, 
we check for A and B table, right? But B and C table doesn't, you know, value it. So B student, right? Student name cannot be equal to C student name and also the ID. So B student name cannot be equal to C student name and, and B student ID cannot be equal to C student ID. So this will be it. So hopefully I don't have any typo. Cool. Come on. All right, so this will be the solution. So if you have question, leave a comment and subscribe or like if you want. All right, peace out, bye.